Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here and I'm going to be showing you a few tips and tricks on how I combat dry skin now that the weather is getting a lot colder, my skin is really starting to suffer and with it being party season I want to make sure I look my best. So if you want to see how I achieve this look and how to get rid of dry, well not get rid of dry skin but to see how I deal with these problems then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel. As I've said before, this is gonna be my winter skin slash holiday makeup tutorial. This is something that I, oh my God, I literally sound like I did on my first video. I tend to gravitate towards this. Now that the party season is coming up, this is normally what I tend to go for if I have minimal time, I wanna make sure that I look good and I look glam. The only difference is is that I have no thick tan on. As some of you know, I do suffer really badly with eczema. So I haven't been wearing fake tan for like the last month and trust me, it's been a struggle, but I've learned to love myself without fake tan. And trust me, it's been a long journey, but here we are. <laughs> so I have been trying out a couple of things on my skin. The thing I am using at the minute, and I do want to give a quick special shout out to, this is the Chloe's Secret Formula from Witch's Lab. I will link her Instagram down below. This is super inexpensive. I actually got given this by my lovely flatmate for my birthday because if you don't already know, 24th of December, it's where the real queens are born. Me. I've been trying this out. Um, It's probably been like a couple of days. I've been applying it morning and night and it says on the bottle you can apply it before makeup as well. And that's what I've been doing the last couple of days so yeah I've seen a difference I've, as you can see I've got like a patch here just does not want to go here and here they are just so bloody stubborn they just don't want to go but I have noticed that the dryness has come out or has gone down and it's not visible under makeup which is what we want so I'm going to take a generous amount like literally that much and just pop it all over my face because hun, if you know about dry skin, you know this is, oh God. So yeah, how is everyone? I hope everyone's doing really well. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for, you know, just, yeah. I did think about doing these off camera, but I have just plucked them. So they shouldn't take me too long, but yeah. I'm just going to take my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I don't know, what, what else have I got to tell you? Oh yeah, I have a new makeup Instagram. Woo -woo, we love that. I've got a business Instagram now. So if you're in the Huddersfield, Leeds, Manchester area and you want your makeup doing, hit a girl up. I'll leave my handles down below if you want to go check it out. I'm not going to lie, I've only got one client photo on there at the minute just because I've been so busy. And because I go home for Christmas as well, people get confused. So it's certainly something I want to take into the new year and I really want to widen my skills, you know? This is my nice eyebrow. It's growing at a really good rate. She's doing really well. But then you see this one and it just does not want to grow. Okay, so I have actually just sped that bit up because it took way longer than what it should have done. <laughs> I'm now going to move on to eyes. I want to do like a really rich chocolatey brown smoky eye that's going to kind of... You'll see the, You'll see what I mean. You'll see the vision. So I am just going to take my P. Louise base. Now I have changed colours. I used to use P. Louise Rumour shade 2, but I have actually gone darker to shade 4. I watched P. Louise's and M -M -M Mitchell's live on Instagram the other month and he uses shade 4 so I was like well if Mitchell's going to use it then so am I. So I've now changed over to shade 4 and it's probably the best decision that I've ever done. But I do use um, Rumour 2 for my concealer and wow, <laughs> wow that has changed my life. So I always use this flat brush to just carve out the bottom and then I'll just get a synthetic fluffy brush to cover the whole lid. 
there's actually nothing I love more than clean brushes. So I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette that she collaborated with Morphe just because I wanted to make sure I used products that were affordable, that you could ask for like last minute Christmas presents, that kind of thing. And it is a really good eyeshadow palette, I'm not even going to lie. The browns in here are amazing. And whenever I want to do like a brown smoky eye, I always go for this eyeshadow palette. So again, yeah, I'll link everything that I use down below. So I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to go in, I'm going to put a picture of the eyeshadow palette and then a sticker over what eyeshadow I use because they have names but it didn't come with a sheet telling me what the names were. So I'll just leave it here so you know which eyeshadow colour I'm going to use. But I'm just going to basically take a really warm brown on a big fluffy brush and just work that into my crease. I always use this I always use this eyeshadow colour. Always. It's literally my favourite brown. Um, I'm just now going to mix between the shade I was using previously and I'm going to go into a darker brown and just focusing that on the outer corner just so I can give myself more of a circular socket. Okay, so I've actually zoomed you in a bit just because I feel like you couldn't see me properly. So just using that really nice dark brown shade and just tapping it on the out, on the outer corner. Just fluff it out into like a wing so then you'll have it more kind of like pushing towards your temples. Now I'm just going to swap to a smaller, more defined brush and we're just going to go back in with that first initial colour and really map out where... I want this colour on the inner corner. So just with a clean brush, I'm just going to buff around the edges so it all blends out seamlessly. Take my fluffy brush and go in with the first shade and just pack it in any places that seem like they don't have enough colour. Again, making sure you blend all these colours nicely together. So now that I'm happy with the way that the eyeshadow has looked, I'm just going to quickly do the other eye off camera and then we'll do lashes and base and lower lash line. Now I am going to show you how I put on my eyelashes because I do get a lot of questions in my personal life about how to apply lashes. So here I'm now going to show you how I do them. So these are just a pair of eyelashes that I've got. Whenever you buy a new pair of eyelashes, we, we, pretend the, pre, let's pretend these are new. So with a new pair of eyelashes, you always need to make sure that you measure them to fit your eye. So with me, I mean, these have already been pre-cut, but I've noticed that when I do buy a pair of eyelashes, the band is always so much longer than my actual eye. So of course, if you're not cutting them, they're just gonna hang off the side of your eye. So always make sure that you measure them. As you can see, they fit my eye perfectly. We've cut our eyelashes, snip, snip, snip. Now we are gonna apply eyelash glue. Now the eyelash glues that I have are just little ones that you can find like when you buy a set of eyelashes. So I think these are the, um, oh God, what's that really popular eyelash brand that you buy in boots? Isla, Ilure, that brand. So I'm going to be very generous with my eyelash glue because we want these eyelashes to eyelashes to last all night. Eyelash glue has been stuck. I don't know how to show you without being like. So as you can see, I have applied a generous amount of eyelash glue on. This is a little tip that I found from my favourite one. Well, I've got loads, but one of my top favourite Instagram makeup artists YouTubers, connoisseurs, if you want to say. Um, so I'll leave her Instagram handle down below. I think it's Kaylee, M-U-A. But it's, I always thought it was like, Kel Harley. Anyway, she's from Northern Ireland, but she's honestly absolutely out of this world. So, and ever since I've used this tactic, my eyelashes have never come off. Touch wood. So now that the eyelash glue is a little bit tacky, it's not 100% tacky, we are just going to quickly just lay the eyelash on top of my lash line and as you can see I've created an, like an almost kind of like a stamp. So 
now that we're flapping our eyelashes around i tend to like fan my eye with like my mirror so just making sure that both eyelash glues if you want to say is tacky so just flapping my eyelash around making sure that it goes tacky so yeah the way she explained it was that the lash glue on your eye and the lash glue on your eyelash almost acts like a velcro so it's gonna stick forever until you obviously you rip them off like half drunk or whatever but yeah so as you can see my eyelash glue is starting to get a little bit tacky on my eyelid so now we're just going to, I mean I'm going to have to hold the mirror up because there's no way I can do it like from afar. So I'm just going to quickly grab my eyelash and stick it down onto that strip of lash glue on my eye on my eyelid. And then I pinch my natural lash to the fake lash. And now your eyelash won't move. So yeah, that's how I stick my eyelashes onto my eyelashes. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly do the next one. So again, taking a generous amount of eyelash glue onto your eyelash. Like so, I've just got my eyelash glue on my eyelash. Let it... Okay, so now that my eyelashes have been stuck down, we're then going to move on to base, which I said in my last video is my favourite part, and it still is my favourite part. So, as I mentioned earlier, I used the um, Chloe's Secret Formula as my base, but because I'm dry, I'm going to use another one as well. So I'm going to use the Max Strobe Cream. This, honestly, just feels like another moisturiser, which is just what I need. I need as much moisture as I can when it comes to my face. So, oh yeah, just kind of rubbing it in. But yeah, if anyone has got eczema, because I know quite a lot of people suffer from it on my Instagram and they're always messaging me like different things that they can use. If you know anything that's gonna work, then help me. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I try something new every single year and some things work some things don't like for some reason my eczema does not get on with Aveeno which is mind-boggling to me because it's never let me down before and I've used Aveeno for like several years now so I just feel oh god it's just a nightmare give me some warm sun put it that way so now that the strobe cream is down I'm now going to use my favorite favorite foundation um my skin loves this like loves this it's tinted moisturizer from Laura mercier and i am in the shade 2w3 natural so this is what i use when i don't have fake tan on which has been me for like the last month so i'm going to use this but i'm also going to use it in combination with the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter so i'm just going to put there we go just put two marks like that on my face and then i'm just going to take the oh my god my hands are slippy i'm just going to take the charlotte tilbury and kind of blob it on my face and then i'm just going to take a flat kabuki brush and blend the both products into my skin i cannot rave enough about Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier is literally one of my favourite brands and I feel it's so underrated, which is a bit sad. This tinted moisturiser has just done wonders for covering up any eczema patches. Like you can hardly see my you can hardly see my eczema patch like on my cheek here. What? Like it's a tinted moisturiser. Everyone shies away from tinted moisturizers saying that they're not full coverage but i mean i wouldn't say this is full coverage i'd say it's like medium full coverage medium slash buildable coverage but it's honestly oh god it's just such a lovely product and especially for everyday wear it's really not heavy which if you're sat at an office which is what i'm doing like four out of the five times of my working week I don't want something that's going to 
feel heavy on my skin or you know it's gonna not make my skin feel breathable and this product does it and I literally cannot rave enough about it like it's changed my life <laughs> so now that I've done that I'm now going to take my P. Louise base P. Louise mentioned on her Instagram story that she uses it as concealer and I used it as concealer once and I now cannot go back so this is the shade rumor 02 so I used 04 on my eyes and now I'm using this is like my full one I'm trying to squeeze the rest of this out but yeah this is the rumor 02 so I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just going to put it under my eyes. Again, with this product, you like you don't need a lot because it is so full coverage. You, you know, a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to do that under my eye. I've also got a spot as well because I was using, before the Chloe's Secret Formula, I was using, this is um, a tone and moisturising kind of like liquid from Boots because a makeup artist I follow on my makeup account says that she gets really bad eczema around her eyes due to stress. Well, mine is mainly around my eyes. So I used that and although it brought my eczema down, it was making me break out. So I've got quite a lot of spot scarring from where I've picked them. So don't pick your spots because then you'll get scars. But you know, I, under I understand the struggle. Like it's, it's hard when it's just sat there. Like I've got one here, which I popped literally like half an hour before I started filming. So that's always fun. But yeah, so now that that's all blended, I'm now going to do cream contour as, as it is like a winter tutorial, I'm hardly using any powders apart from eyeshadow and maybe a bronzer. So, and I just, this was on a whim because you'll also see that I've got other products from there, from this like cosmetic line. So I've actually got the Primark concealer. This is in the shade Caramel and because all of my bronzers and concealers are powders, I needed a liquid concealer. Well, your girl's still a student and your girl's still skin. So Primark, here we go. Because I was gonna get the Fit Me, but the Fit Me is like, well, it's not even a lot, but whatever. But yeah, so what I do is I just put a bit on the back of my hand. I'm using this size brush because we really wanna concentrate in like specific areas. So this is the JHO8 and this is my favorite for cream contour. So I'm literally gonna take it off the back of my hand and put like the excess like on my hands because we don't need a lot and I'm just going to use in like little circular motions and place where I want my concealer to be so as you can see I'm hardly using any product and then I'll just go over with my foundation brush if I go too far which always happens so again, just taking the product and kind of dispersing it so I don't have a massive amount and then doing like little circular motions and just placing it and making sure it's all blended because there's nothing worse than when I'm wearing no fake tan and I go a little bit overboard with the bronzer and it looks muddy and not well put together. So yeah, I've literally, I've got like hardly anything like left on my brush so I'm just gonna quickly Swirl it in there and just go down the bridge of my nose. Just to contour my little sis. Now that that's all set down, I am gonna put a little bit of powder bronzer on, but literally the smallest amount. So I'm just gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Pro, Pro Bronze Fusion. Now this is more, I'm trying to think how he explained it in the shop. It's not a powder because it's more of like a baked, formula if I'm saying that right I could be wrong but it's not like a full palette like it's got a bit of substance to it so I'm just going to quickly just grab this brush which is the JH05 and it's literally just like a flat rounded brush and just bring it up literally just focusing it like more into like my hairline so now that's done I'm now going to go back into my Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just going to place this on the high points of my cheeks 
And I'm going to use my finger to blend this out just because I feel like my finger, because of the heat of my finger, it just blends into the skin a lot more naturally. Like so. I like to bring it down into my apples with my cheeks, but not too much where it's like silly. Just like rub a little bit on the end of my nose. I'm now going to move on to my lower lash line. So going back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and our little pencil brush, which is the JH40, we're going to take that second brown that we used. We're going to line our lower lash line with it. And we're going to bring it all the way into the middle. I love a lower lash line. I feel, because I do such a heavy lower lash line, I look silly without anything on there. Now we're going to do mascara. So I haven't actually put mascara on my top lashes just because I did blend them in. I like to not use as much mascara because eyelashes can be quite heavy. So I'm just going to take my mascara. Depending on what kind of lip you want to go for, I personally don't like a red lip. I, If I was going to do a red lip, I would use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Strawberry. But because, again, this being a winter makeup tutorial, my lips are so dry. Like, so dry. So I tend to, during the holiday period or during winter, I tend to use lipsticks out of a bullet. So, again... Going back to trusty Primark, this lip liner is absolutely unreal. Now, I swear this was a pound. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but this was a pound. And it's in the shade Toast, and it is such a lovely lip line colour to go with Velvet Teddy from MAC. So creamy, and it's such a good colour match as well. Around my lips, and then we'll put lipstick on. Line, I am going to take two MAC lipsticks. I recommend girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever, buy out of a half a MAC lipstick because MAC lipsticks are still too. Oh. MAC lipsticks are literally my favourite on the planet, and I feel like you just cannot go wrong with a MAC lipstick. But like I said, I'm going to use Velvet Teddy from MAC, and then I'm also going to use the Jamie Genevieve collaboration. Unfortunately, this was limited edition, so it isn't going to come back. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use the Jamie Genevieve lipstick to go in the centre. So my camera cut out for God knows whatever reason. So for this tutorial, I'm not going to do lip gloss. But if I was going to do lip gloss, I would use the NYX Butter Gloss in the sh shade Fortune Cookie. It's just a really nice peachy nude and it complements Velvet Teddy very very much so yeah I'm now going to zoom you guys out and we can see the finish look I've got to set my face so with setting my face I'm just going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray okay so this is the finished look I hope you enjoyed watching today's video and I hope you picked up any kind of tips and tricks on how I combat winter skin if you liked today's video then please give it a thumbs up and even drop me a comment of anything you'd like to see in the next couple of weeks and I hope to see you soon. Bye!